go the distance. You can't allow folk to tell you you can't do nothing because my Bible says that I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. You might limit yours, but baby, I'm not going to limit mine. I can do it all, amen, through him that gives me strength. But what don't sound good to you, it sound good to God. Simply because God said, look at my boy, he don't mind making a fool out of himself for me. He made a fool out of himself for the devil. You ought to make a fool out of yourself for God. I didn't care how I looked when I was in the world, staggering around, drunk out of my mind. Now I'm going to get in the church and ain't going to give God everything I got. The devil is a liar. I ain't giving God all of me. Everything that I can hush up inside of me, I ain't going to give it unto God. That's why God blesses me the way he blesses me. Amen. Amen. We deal with faith. Amen. God gave confirmation. I picked out of the blue minister said on this morning and guess what her topic was? It was about faith. Amen. Because we finna go into a faith series. Amen. Because where we finna go and what God is finna do it's gonna take some faith on our behalf. Somebody say amen. The Bible says amen. Hebrews 11 and 6. Hebrews 11 and 6. Why are you getting it? Lord, it's again we come with a bow head and a heart. Lord, we come saying thank you. God, we saying now put me so far behind the cross I might not be seen nor heard. Please, Jesus, speak to me that I might be able to speak to us and be in your name that we carefully give you the honor and the praises. In Jesus' name we pray and thank God. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 When you have it, say amen. 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 Hebrews 11, amen, and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him or God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Somebody say that he is. That he is. And that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Uh, my God, may the Lord have a blessing on the reader here and doers of his word. Amen. We want to talk from this subject. Amen. You need to strengthen your faith. A amen. You need to strengthen your faith. Amen. The Bible got so much in it about faith. Amen. I mean, you could go from chapter to chapter, from verse to verse, but I found it to be true that it takes faith. Amen. To operate in God. The Bible says, as a matter of fact, amen, it's impossible to please God if, if you don't have faith. Amen. We understand that we quick to say that we believe in God, but we have a problem dealing with God answering our prayer because we don't want to do the extra stuff, amen, to let God know, amen, that I got enough faith to trust you. Sometimes you ought to act like Peter, amen. Who that walking on the water? Oh, man, if it's you, God, bid me to come where you're at because I got enough faith. If you call me, I can walk on the water, amen. But every time we get a little faith, what happens, we do like Peter. When the world get around us, we begin to sink and we begin to lose our faith. But I found to to be true that James said amen count it all joy when times times and perilous times come up against you but you allow patience to have her good work yeah. in you amen somebody we need to know amen that to go where God wants you to go amen your faith don't have to take you there well, baby you can't get there on my faith I can't get there on your faith you can't get there on mama and them faith you gotta get there on your faith but I, I didn't see nowhere in the Bible that Jesus said I healed you because I'm God no he said your faith has made you hold your faith, your faith, your faith. Amen. See, our lives sometimes is like a remote control. Amen. You know it got an on and off button, but I don't want to talk about the on and the off button. There's a button called play. 
Amen. There's a button called pause and a button called rewind and fast forward. Amen. And some of us, amen, has been on pause for a long time in our lives because of a lack of faith. We're in a standstill position. We're waiting on God to press play. Somebody say, God, please press play in my life. I need more faith from you, God. I need you to show me a little bit and at a time because you said in your word, God, in Matthew that if I had the faith of a grain of a mustard seed that I will be able to move mountain God but there's so much stuff built up around me because I have paused my faith I got my faith on pause right now because of the stuff that's going on in my life and, and I know you know a few people that them Paul, their faith is the ones that call you on the phone and say pastor I can't make it to church Sunday because I'm going through something. Don't you know you need to press play when you're going through something instead of being at home going through all by yourself. God wants you to come where he's at because there's power where God is. Every now and again and you'll find somebody in the church that then press the rewind button. And I, I don't like the rewind button because I don't like going back to the mess that I used to be in for the Bible says it's like a dog lapping up his own vomit. So I don't want to go back to licking up my own vomit. So I don't want to press rewind. But, but, but brothers, I don't even want to press play no more. I want to press fast forward. I, God, I want to see what the end is going to be. So I want to jump from Genesis to Revelation to see, amen, where I fit in in the end. Somebody say amen to the truth. We need to know, brothers and sisters, that this faith walk can take you where you need to go. Why? Because well, uh, uh, verse chapter 11 and 1 says, everybody forget to say it this way. They always say, faith is the substance. But no, they leave out the now. Amen. See, anybody other than me want some right now faith? Amen. I don't want to wait till tomorrow or put it on fast forward, but I need some right now faith. Amen. I need something to move in my life now. Anybody other than me in this place need them something to move right now? in your life you need to move right now Romans 4 and 20 the B part said be strong in your faith and still give glory to God Romans 10 and 17 says so then faith come up by hearing, hearing what? hearing the word of God then you go down to Timothy and it says uh, fight the good fight of faith, then you go to 2 Timothy and 4 and 17 is I have kept the faith. So it lets me know that without faith, it's impossible to please God. To please God. I can't please God till I believe He is God. How can I please something that I don't trust or believe in? The Bible goes so far to tell you, lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge God, and He will begin to deck your faith. But tell that somebody, how can you lead, let something lead you that you ain't got no faith in? You gotta have faith in God. Somebody say amen to the truth, because I found it to be true, amen, that God will take you in the areas that you have never experienced, but it takes faith to get there. You want to go higher? Increase your faith. You want to do better? Increase your faith. Why? Because faith unlocks the door to everything that you need. But it takes faith, it takes trust, it takes understanding. God's promises to you and I. God didn't create you and I that we might be in like. No, he created us to be the head and not the tail. He created us to be above and not beneath. But it's going to take some faith Amen. in God to get there. My brothers and my sisters, I'm not 
talking about just coming to church, sitting on the pews. I'm not just talking about coming and sitting in the pulpit. What I'm talking about is being in action for the Lord. Wherever your call is in God, you got to begin to operate in your call. Whatever you say that you are in God, you got to be the best that you can be in Him. Why? Because faith will take you so far that you will, some folk would think that you done lost your minds. That's why I don't allow negative folk to be around me because I don't like doubting folks around me because God has showed me, amen, that he can do anything but fail. Anybody other than me know that God is the key, that God is the answer, that God is the way maker out of no way that God is. He's your shelter in the time of a storm. God will provide everything that you need, but you got to, my brothers and sisters, have some faith. The Bible said, now faith is the substance of things hopeful. And the evidence of things not seen. Though I don't see them, I praise God. Like they, they're all ready. We so often wait till we get a thing to begin to give God well, some praise. Well. But I found out if you could praise God before you get it. If you learn how to praise Him right after you pray, then God will begin to make a way for you. Somebody said in the rehearing that Nehemiah was called to do a work for the Lord. And this task that he had was impossible to do. Because 90 years before Nehemiah, several posts had tried to rebuild the wall. But my God, because of Nehemiah's faith, and because of his favor, when he went to the king, and the king saw that his oar wasn't the same, the king asked him the question, why do my servant look sad? You don't look sick, but you look deeply hurt. And he said, because of my father's land has been torn down and, and, and the fence and the walls been torn down. I need to go back and repair the wall. Now Nehemiah had faith in God. Because when Nehemiah got there, the people began to ridicule him. The, the folks began to tell him, you done lost your mind talking about building a wall. But Nehemiah had faith. And Nehemiah began to talk to the people that he need to talk to. Not to the folk that can't help him, but to the folk that can help him. It takes faith to work for God. Look at your name and say, increase your faith. You want to do better? Increase your faith. Start trusting God in what you don't see. I wish I had about four people that's been trusting God for everything that they got. But don't mind how driving four more people and telling them that it was because of God that I got what I got. It's because of God that I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm walking by faith and not by sight. Now watch this. Somebody might make up in their mind and take that literally that I'm walking in blind faith. No, you're not walking in blind faith, but you're walking in the Word of God. And when you walk in the Word of God, you ain't nowhere blind because the Bible says, uh, greater is he that's inside of me than he that's in the world. So if I believe that and I got enough faith, faith to walk in that. I believe that everything that I touch shall prosper. Why? Because the Bible says in the first song, the man, the, the steps of a good man have been ordered by the Lord. He meditates day and night and everything he does, somebody say prosper. My God, I feel this thing. God bless you today. I tell you that faith is the key to open up the door to all of your problems. 
shoes. Uh, be just like the remote. Stop putting your life on pause uh, and start pressing play and fast forward. Don't even go to rewind. Uh, Cause I come to tell you that we've been rewinding our lives uh, for too long now. Uh, it's time to unhook the pause button. Cause we've been standing still for too long now. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready, get ready. Cause I'm now uh, operating uh, in the spirit of the Lord. Uh, I got enough tape uh, to be a mountain moving Christian. Uh, is there any mountain movers uh, in this place today uh, that don't mind? Uh, whatever I got to go through, uh, let me go through. Uh, I'm going to press my way uh, to the mark of the high calling, uh, which is in Christ Jesus. Uh, look at me. Uh, I'm going to fight a good fight. Uh, I'm going to finish my course. Uh, but most of all, uh, I'm going to keep the faith. Till I realize it's impossible to please my God if you don't got faith. Number one, first of all, I gotta believe He's God. If I believe that He's God, then He can do everything that He said He would do. Somebody start laughing when I say I'm gonna sing my song. You can laugh, but you're gonna stay on pause. Cause until you believe and trust God, you're gonna be on pause. In your life, the Bible says, oh, in Philippians, we can, we can, oh, we can do all things through who? Through Christ that gives me strength. So if I sing under the name of Jesus, it's going to shout out right to God. If I go to work in the name of Jesus, I'm going to do a good job. Oh my job, uh, if I come my conversation, uh, start off with Jesus, uh, I'm going to have a good conversation. Why? Because if I put God first, uh, He will, uh, He will uh, make a way out of nowhere. Anybody glad today? Uh, anybody want to increase your faith today? Uh, start trusting God. Uh, start leaning not to you, uh, but lean to God. Uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say, neighbor, I will have that new car. I will have that new house. I will get over diabetes. I will be cured of cancer. I will, because I got enough faith that my God, my God is able, my God is able to do anything but fail. Feel my help coming now. Y'all got to excuse me. Got to step over here and give God some praise. Lord, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to thank you. Thank you. Because you've been good. Better than good to me. Lord, I know now if I fall down, I can get back up. And I got enough faith now to let me know that you're in the plan. Whatever I go I found it to be good. I used to complain, but if you got faith, ain't no room to complain. I used to be worried, but if you got faith, ain't no room for worry. You gotta learn how to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Do I got any faith folks in this building? Do I got any believers? Do I got anybody trusting God? If you trust God. If I keep my faith, I'm going to walk into somebody. Somebody say amen. I might be the jobless right now. But if I keep on walking my faith, putting in applications, I will get a job. Why? I'm increasing my faith because I understand that I'm stuck because of lack of faith. I'm stuck because I want to do two things at the same time. But Jesus said, choose you this day whom 
you're gonna serve, you're gonna serve me, or you're gonna serve me. I stop to tell you, I done made up in my mind, I will trust in the Lord, I will serve the Lord, and to the day I die, good evening for this. She's bleeding. And then back in those days, you could be around people when you're bleeding. But I think she just made up in her mind. I ain't gonna care what they say. They can call me nasty. They can call me a crackhead. They, they, can, they can call me a strawberry. I need to touch the hymn of Jesus garment. So if I can just touch the hymn of his garment, tell somebody your breakthrough is just a touch away. Your will deliver is just a touch away. All you gotta do is learn how to touch the Lord. And once you begin to touch our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God don't care what you've been through. God don't care who's talking about you. God said, come, let them come. Whom? So ever, let them come. Why? Because I got the authority. And I got the power to heal. To set free. To deliver. But it takes our faith. Yes. For all this stuff to happen. Uh -huh. Don't let your problems be bigger than your faith. Let your faith be bigger than your problem. Because if your faith get bigger than your problem, your problem don't have authority over you. Hallelujah. See, when you afraid, it takes away from your faith. See, see, faith oh, conquers fear. Man, come on. You got the right type of faith. You're yes. not afraid Preach. of folks laughing when you sing. You're not afraid of folks saying that Amen. you can't accomplish this or you can't accomplish yes. that. You're going to walk by faith. faith. Yeah. And by then sight. God <laughs> has enough nerve to say in the Bible that I make your enemy. Your 
the folks who don't believe that you can do a thing, God say, I'll make them your footstool. And not only would I make them your footstool, I would make them at peace with you. Amen. Come on. See, faith is power. Because faith will make me go through whatever I got to go through to please God. Hallelujah. Whatever ridicule I got to take to please God, I'm, I'm willing to take it that it may. No matter how people are talk behind your back, I'm willing to take that for God because I got enough faith. Because I look at my brother Job and seems like every time one servant came, another one came with some bad news. But because of integrity and because of faith in God, my God, he got more than he lost. And you got you to gotta keep your faith in God. You got to keep your trust in God. Yeah, it's good to love your wife. It's good to love your husband. It's good to love your brothers and sisters. But your first love should be God. That's right, man. That's right. See, because when you love God first, God opened up doors that's been closed on you. Anybody had some doors closed that God opened right back up? Folks told you it was over. And God, they looked up, you coming back in? I thought you were fine last week. No, they made a mistake. Uh, they called me back up. Uh, they know this company can't function without me. Amen. Because as long as I'm here, God is blessing the place. How many know that some place is being blessed just because you're there and the faith that you got in God is there? Hey, amen. So this month, rest of this month and next month, we're going to be dealing with faith. Hey, amen. Because see, God finna take us to a level that that, that y'all ain't ready for. Because a lot of, we gotta work on our faith. Amen. amen. See, because when I ask something and it don't see progress in it or productivity, that means that your faith ain't there and you don't believe it's gonna happen. So what God gotta do is show you through me that whatever He said comes true. Cause I got enough faith. See, it, it don't take a lot of people. It take a few people with faith. Amen. It wasn't four men. They tore the roof off and lowered the man down. Yeah. It, 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 wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a four of them. It wasn't, yeah. a, wasn't a whole congregation. But them four had enough right. faith that That's Jesus right. had to heal that man. Because if they went through all right. that trouble, amen. they knew that God can heal. Amen. Right. amen. My time is over. Thank you for yours. Amen. Hope something was said. Amen. That, that it helped you increase your faith. Amen. Hope you got something out of it, man. If you got something, just say, Bishop, I got something out of that one. Uh, that was just for me. That, that, that was just for me because I need that kind of faith. Amen. I, I, I need that kind of faith because I'm ready to go into some areas that I ain't been in before. Amen. Remember that remote now. Get your life off of pause. Get, get off of pause. Get off of standing still and get, and get busy for the Lord. Every now and then, hit fast forward. Amen. To go over to an area that you ain't seen yet. And, and when you in Revelation, guess what you done did? You done hit fast forward. Because Revelation begin to tell you about stuff that's going to happen that has not happened yet. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. It, it might be somebody here. Amen. They want to be a